God says, my dear child, tomorrow you will hear a good news at 11 a.m. Your prayers have been heard by Almighty Jesus. All you need to watch this video till end to claim it. Whenever you need help, I'm here with my hand stretched out, ready to save you. Remember this promise, especially in your moments of doubt and struggle. I know the challenges you face each day. I understand the weight that sometimes bends your shoulders. I see the moments when you feel alone, the nights when you cry out, unsure if there's anyone listening. But I am always here, watching over you, ready to offer strength when yours seems to be failing. You may not always perceive my presence, but I am as close as your next breath, as immediate as your heartbeat. If you want to join our spiritual family today to unlock a path to inner peace and enlightenment then make sure to click on join button and participate in our transformation journey. When you feel lost, call out to me. My ears are attuned to your voice, my heart synchronized with your pleas. I am not just a silent observer. I am an active participant in your life, guiding you, comforting you, and loving you. Trust that my hands are not only stretched out to save you but also to hold you during the storms of life. In your journey through life, you will encounter various trials, times when the path forward seems unclear, and the darkness around you deepens. During these trials, remember that you are not navigating them alone. My light is there to guide you, to illuminate your steps, even when your eyes see only darkness. My love for you is unyielding. It does not waver based on your successes or falter with your defeats. I cherish you in your entirety, in your moments of joy and in your hours of need. Every hair on your head is counted, every tear you shed is known to me. Lean on my strength when yours is not enough. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Resilience. In your vulnerabilities, my glory shines the brightest, transforming what seems like insurmountable obstacles into testimonies of faith and resilience. And when you achieve victories, small or grand, know that I am celebrating with you. Your achievements are a testament to the potential I placed within you at the moment of your creation. They are not just your triumphs but ours, shared between a father and his child. In times of doubt, remember the stories of those who walked before you, who trusted in my promises and found them true. You are part of this great legacy, a story of faith that spans generations and speaks of a love that transcends time. Reach out to others as I reach out to you. Show them the same love and compassion that I have shown you. Be my hands and feet in the world, an ambassador of my grace and kindness. In helping others, you will find your own spirit uplifted and you will see my work manifest in your life. So, my child, whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember that my hand is always stretched out towards you. Reach for it with faith, and let me lead you to safety, to peace, and to greater heights than you ever imagined. Remember, I am always here, ready to save you, ready to lead you home. God says, my dear child, I am God, the maker of everything, and I will be here from start to finish. Do not fear the shadows, for I am the light that scatters them. Trust in me, and let your heart be at peace. In the beginning, I created the heavens and the earth, and I saw that it was good. I made the stars to brighten the night and the sun to warm the days. I crafted the mountains and the seas, and every living creature. You are my creation, made in my image, and I have loved you since before you were born. Life can sometimes be difficult, and you may face trials that seem too great to bear. Remember that I am with you always, even in your darkest moments. I will give you strength when you feel weak, and hope when you despair. 
When you are joyful, I rejoice with you, and when you are grieving, I am close to your broken heart. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care deeply for you. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. From the dust of the earth, I formed you, and breathed into you the breath of life. Type 1111 to claim it. You are wonderfully made, precious in my sight. I know every hair on your head, and I am familiar with all your ways. Before a word is on your tongue, I know it completely. I guide your steps and watch over you as you sleep. Trust in my unfailing love and my infinite wisdom. Though my ways may be mysterious, and my plans for you beyond your understanding, know that everything I do is for your good. I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Lean on me, and let me be your strength and your shield. Pray to me, and I will hear you. Call out to me, and I will answer. Seek me with all your heart, and you will find me. I am not far from any one of you, for in me you live and move and have your being. I am your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you can trust. When you walk through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave my Son for you, that through him you might have life, and have it more abundantly. Do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Instead, look to me, and let my peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and your mind. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. You are the light of the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Live a life worthy of the calling you have received, and be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Remember, I am the potter, and you are the clay. I am working in you, shaping and molding you into the masterpiece I designed you to be. Embrace the journey, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong. And when your journey on this earth comes to an end, I will be there to welcome you into my eternal kingdom, where there is no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away, and behold, I am making all things new. So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Rest in the knowledge that from start to finish, I am God, and I am with you always. God says, my dear child, I'm here to help you feel better, make your friendships and family ties stronger, and help you with money troubles. Remember, I am always with you, ready to listen and guide you through every step of your life. When you feel overwhelmed or troubled, come to me in prayer. Share your thoughts, your fears, and your desires. I am not just a listener, I am a healer. I understand your pain, your stress, and the burdens you carry. Trust in me to soothe your mind and mend your heart. I offer peace that surpasses all understanding, and this peace will guard your heart and your thoughts in every situation. Let's talk about your relationships, your friends, and your family. These relationships are precious, but they can also be challenging at times. I can help strengthen these bonds. Love is patient, love is kind, and it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. I will help you embody this love in your interactions. Forgive as I have forgiven you, and show grace as I have shown grace to you. 
Communication is key, and I can help you express your feelings and understand the feelings of others more clearly. Remember, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now, regarding your financial difficulties, I understand that they can cause significant stress. Trust in me and let me guide you. Wisdom is a gift from me, and I give it generously to all who ask without finding fault. Seek my wisdom for managing your finances. Be prudent and responsible with your resources. I will guide you in making wise decisions that will help stabilize your financial situation. Remember, it is also important to be content with what you have, for I have said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In your journey to feel better, strengthen your relationships, and overcome financial troubles, remember to rely not only on your strength but on my guidance and provision. Spend time in my word, it is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. The scriptures can comfort you, offer you wisdom, and inspire you to live a life that is fulfilling and joyful. Stay connected with your community of faith. They are there to support you, pray with you, and walk beside you. As you share your struggles, you will find that you are not alone. Others too have their battles, and together, with my help, you can overcome them. Practice gratitude daily. It shifts your focus from what you lack to the abundance I provide. Count your blessings, name them one by one, and see how I have been faithful. A thankful heart is a magnet for miracles. Gratitude will enrich your life, bringing joy and satisfaction even in tough times. Serve others. When you serve, you step outside your own troubles, and I will bless you abundantly in return. There is great joy in giving, and in service, you reflect my love to the world. As you help others, you will find your own burdens becoming lighter. Stay hopeful. My plans for you are to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Your current situation is not your final destination. I have great things in store for you. Keep your faith strong and hold on to the promise of brighter days ahead. Be patient. Change doesn't happen overnight. Just as a seed needs time to grow, the answers to your prayers and the solutions to your problems require time to unfold. Trust in my timing it is always perfect. Take care of your physical health. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Rest, eat well, and exercise. A healthy body supports a healthy mind, and together they create a resilient spirit. Finally, keep communicating with me. Your faith is the bridge that connects you to my eternal wisdom and love. The more you talk to me, the more you will hear my voice. I am here in the silence, in the chaos, in the joy, and in the sorrow. From start to finish, in every moment of your life, I am with you. So, my dear child, do not worry. Let go of your anxieties and give them to me. I am here to help you feel better, strengthen your relationships, and guide you through financial struggles. Walk with me, and together, we will navigate the complexities of life. Continue forward with faith and courage. Know that with each step, you are never alone. I am a constant companion, a guide who sees the big picture even when you are unsure of the path ahead. Remember, no problem is too large for me, and no detail is too small for my attention. Embrace humility in your life. Humility opens the door to learning and growth, allowing you to see beyond your own capabilities and to rely on my strength. Type 1212 if you needed this. It fosters an environment where you can ask for help, admit mistakes, and seek reconciliation. 
in humility, find the grace to grow and the freedom to change. Cultivate patience as you wait for answers and relief. In a world that prizes speed and immediate results, patience is a profound testament to your faith in me. It shows your trust in my timing and your belief that I am working behind the scenes for your good, even when the horizon seems unclear. Continue to pray, not just for solutions to your problems, but also for the strength to endure and persevere through trials. Prayer is your direct line to me, it is your heart speaking to mine. Through prayer, you gain the spiritual strength to face whatever comes your way. It's a practice that brings you closer to me, aligning your spirit with my will. Share your journey with others. Testimonies of your struggles and how you overcome them can inspire and encourage others who might be facing similar challenges. Your story has the power to heal, to comfort, and to motivate. As you open up about your life, you'll find that your experiences can serve as beacons of hope and sources of strength for others. Seek joy in the simple moments. Joy does not depend on perfect circumstances, but on a perfect trust in me. It's found in the everyday, a smile, a kind word, a moment of gratitude. These sparks of joy illuminate the darkest paths and remind you of my love and presence. Reinforce your faith through worship and fellowship. In worship, you connect with me in a profound and personal way, recharging your spiritual batteries and centering your soul. Fellowship with other believers provides support, encouragement, and mutual growth. Together, you can face life's challenges with a shared strength that comes from communal faith. Reflect on my promises. The scriptures are full of my commitments to you, promises of love, protection, provision, and presence. These words are not just ancient texts, they are alive and active, applicable to every circumstance you face today. Let them comfort you, guide you, and remind you of my eternal commitment to your well-being. Continue learning and growing in your understanding of my nature and the depths of my love for you. As you delve deeper into my word and spend more time in my presence, you will discover more about who I am and how deeply I care for you. This knowledge will become a foundation that cannot be shaken, no matter what storms come your way. Above all, hold on to hope. Hope in me is never misplaced, it is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. As you hope in me, your faith becomes stronger, your heart more resilient, and your spirit more aligned with mine. Remember, my dear child, I am with you always, from the start of each day to its finish, through every challenge and every victory. My love for you is unending, and my arms are always open. Come to me, and I will give you rest, strength, and guidance every step of the way. God says, my dear child, I've chosen you to receive my love, kindness, and help. Know that you are special to me, deeply loved, and never alone. I am here to guide, support, and bless you in every aspect of your life. You may sometimes feel unworthy or unsure of my presence, but remember, I am always with you. My love is not based on your performance, it is unconditional and everlasting. I created you with a purpose, and I have great plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When you wake up each morning, know that my mercies are new. Every day is a fresh start, a new opportunity to experience my grace. Even on difficult days, when challenges seem overwhelming, I am there to comfort and strengthen you. My arms are always open, ready to provide refuge and peace. I understand your struggles and your pains. In times of worry, bring your fears to me in prayer. I will listen to every word, 
and my spirit will provide the comfort you need. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. My peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Trust in my timing. My ways and thoughts are higher than yours, and every moment of your life is woven into a larger tapestry that only I can see. While you might not understand why things happen as they do, know that I am working all things together for your good. Be patient and stay steadfast in your faith, knowing that I am in control. Remember to practice forgiveness. Just as I have forgiven you, you should forgive others. Holding on to anger or resentment only harms you and hinders my work in your life. Let go and let me heal the wounds of your past. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself, and it frees you to live fully in my love. Celebrate and cultivate the gifts I have given you. Each of you has unique talents and abilities meant to be used for your joy and for the benefit of others. When you use these gifts, you glorify me and help to spread my love. Do not compare yourself to others, you are uniquely crafted by my hand, and I delight in your individuality. Be generous with your time, talents, and resources. As you give, so it will be given to you, a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Generosity opens your heart to receive my blessings and teaches you the joy of selflessness. When you give, you become more like me, reflecting my character to the world. Seek wisdom in all you do. My word is a lamp for your feet, a light on your path. Read it daily, it will guide your decisions and light your way. In moments of uncertainty, ask for my wisdom, and I will generously give it to you without finding fault. Build strong relationships with those around you. Love your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Show them kindness and respect, and be quick to offer help when needed. Through your relationships, you can demonstrate my love in practical and impactful ways. Community is vital, it not only supports you but also enriches your life and deepens your understanding of my love. Stay humble. Remember that everything you have and everything you are comes from me. Pride can separate you from my presence, but humility draws you closer to me. Walk humbly with me, serving others and acknowledging your dependence on me. Take time to be still and know that I am God. In your busy life, quiet moments with me are essential. They are times to recharge, to gain insight, and to be reminded of my overwhelming love for you. In these moments, I speak to your heart, renew your spirit, and refresh your soul. Keep your faith strong, even when you face trials. These challenges are opportunities to grow and to deepen your trust in me. Embrace them with courage, knowing that I am with you, ready to help you overcome. Your faith, more precious than gold, proves genuine and results in praise, glory, and honor. Lastly, remember that you are chosen to be a light in the world. Live a life that inspires others to seek me. Be an example of my love, my kindness, and my help. As you live according to my purpose, you will find fulfillment and joy unparalleled. So, my dear child, rest in the knowledge that you are chosen. I love you, I am for you, and I will never leave you. Walk in my love and let it overflow to those around you. This is your calling, and in it, you will find your greatest joy and satisfaction. God says, my dear child, good things are coming. Trust in my promise to you, for my plans are always to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. Even though life can be challenging, I am always with you, orchestrating things behind the scenes for your good. 
When you wake each morning, remember that each day is a gift filled with new opportunities. Look forward to the blessings that each new day brings. Even when the day seems ordinary, know that I am working in ways you might not immediately see. My love for you is constant and unwavering, and my goodness is at work in your life, even in the smallest details. Do not be discouraged by the troubles you face. They are temporary and are preparing you for the good things I have in store. These challenges help you grow, build your character, and strengthen your faith. When you face hardships, know that these are not signs of my absence but opportunities for my power to be displayed in your life. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. Communicate with me about your fears, your hopes, and your needs. I hear every word you speak, and I cherish your prayers. They rise to me like a sweet fragrance, and they move my heart. I am near to all who call on me in truth. Remember the stories of those who trusted in me before you. They waited with patience and received what was promised. Just like them, your faith and patience will also be rewarded. The good things coming your way will be worth every moment of waiting. Like this video if you love Jesus. Keep your eyes open to the blessings around you. Sometimes, the good things are already part of your life but may go unnoticed. A thankful heart can see the good that is already present and thus becomes ready to receive even more. Gratitude opens the doors to abundance, allowing more blessings to flow into your life. Share your joy and your hope with others. As you spread kindness and love, you not only enrich your own life but also bring light to those around you. This light has the power to transform, to heal, and to bring hope. Your life is a beacon of my love in the world, showing others that good things are indeed possible and near. Cultivate peace within your heart. In a world that can be chaotic and stressful, let my peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and your mind. This peace will be a foundation that stabilizes you in turbulent times and gives you clarity to see the good things emerging on the horizon. Stay rooted in my word. It is a source of wisdom, a guide for your path, and a lamp to your feet. As you meditate on my promises, your faith will grow stronger and your spirit will be uplifted. My word will remind you of the good things I have planned for you and it will keep your hope alive. Be courageous and take steps of faith. Sometimes, the good things require you to step out into the unknown, trusting that I am with you. Do not be afraid to pursue the dreams I've placed in your heart. As you take steps toward these dreams, you will see them unfold and realize that I am guiding your path. Do good to others. In doing so, you sow seeds that will bring a harvest of blessings. The good you do will not only impact the lives of others, but will also return to you multiplied. This cycle of goodness enriches your life and builds a legacy of love and generosity. Look forward to the new relationships and connections that I will bring into your life. These relationships will be sources of joy, support, and mutual growth. Through them, you will experience the beauty of community and friendship, which are among the greatest blessings. Be patient and keep trusting. The good things I have for you are being prepared. Just as a farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop, patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains, so too must you wait for the good things to come at the right time. Lastly, always remember that you are loved more deeply than you can imagine. My love for you is steadfast and unfailing. It is the foundation of every good thing that comes into your life. This love is your greatest assurance that truly, good things are coming. 
So, my dear child, hold on to hope, stay steadfast in faith, and continue to walk in love. The journey ahead is bright with promise, and the best is yet to come. You are cherished, you are valued, and you are blessed. Look forward with excitement and confidence, knowing that good things are indeed on their way. God says, my dear child, you and your family will receive blessings you never thought possible. Trust in my promise to you, for I am always faithful and my generosity knows no bounds. As you walk through life, hold on to this assurance and watch how I work wonders in your life and the lives of your loved ones. Every day is a new opportunity to see my goodness unfold. Wake each morning with expectancy, knowing that each day could be the day when new blessings emerge. These blessings might come in unexpected forms or from unexpected places, but they are all part of the intricate plan I have for you and your family. Keep your heart open and your spirit receptive to what I am doing. Sometimes, the greatest blessings are not material but are found in moments of clear understanding, peace, or restored relationships. Cherish these gifts, for they are profound and can transform your life in ways that material blessings cannot. Type 1414 to affirm. Be grateful for what you already have, as gratitude opens the door for more blessings to enter. A thankful heart is a magnet for miracles. It changes your perspective, helping you to see not just what is, but what can be. Gratitude nurtures hope and fosters a positive environment where miracles can flourish. Teach your family to trust in me as well. Share this promise with them, so they too can have hope and anticipation for what is to come. As each member of your family grows in faith, the collective strength of your trust will create a foundation that can withstand any challenge. Pray together as a family. Prayer unites hearts and lifts spirits. It is a powerful tool that brings families closer to each other and to me. In these moments of prayer, lay your needs, your dreams, and your worries before me, and I will listen with a father's love. Encourage one another and build each other up. In a world that can often be critical and divisive, be the source of encouragement in your family. Kind words, acts of love, and gestures of support make a significant difference in fostering an environment where everyone can thrive. Be patient as you wait for these blessings. My timing is perfect, though it often doesn't align with human expectations. Trust that I know when and how to provide what you need. Just as the seasons change at the appointed time, so too will your blessings arrive at just the right moment. As you experience these blessings, share your stories of my faithfulness. Testimonies are powerful and can encourage others to trust in my love and provision. Your stories will not only fortify your own faith, but can light the way for others who are seeking hope. Serve others and extend kindness beyond your family. As you give of yourselves, you will find that the blessings returned to you are often greater than those you give. This cycle of generosity increases the flow of joy and fulfillment within and beyond your family. Embrace the challenges that come, knowing they are often vehicles for blessings. Difficulties refine us and teach us valuable lessons that prepare us for future joys and successes. With each challenge, a new layer of strength and wisdom is added to your character. Look for blessings in everyday moments. Sometimes the most profound blessings are found in a shared laugh, a quiet evening, or a simple family meal. These are the blessings that fill our lives with joy and contentment, the blessings that, day by day, weave a tapestry of a well-lived life. Remember, the blessings I have in store for you are not just for your benefit but are to be shared. 
As you are blessed, be a blessing to others. This is how goodness spreads and how my love is manifested in the world. You and your family are cherished more than you can imagine. My plans for you are filled with hope and abundance. As you walk forward, keep your eyes open and your hearts ready. The blessings that are coming are beyond what you could ever think or imagine. Therefore, my dear child, remain steadfast in faith, diligent in love, and joyful in hope. The blessings that are on their way will exceed your expectations and fill your lives with light and love. Look forward with anticipation and trust in my promise, for truly, you and your family will receive blessings you never thought possible. God says, my dear child, you're on your way to being rich, successful, happy, and healthy because I've picked you for my blessings. Trust in the journey I have planned for you, for it is filled with abundance and joy. As you walk this path, keep your heart open and your faith strong. Every step you take is guided by my hand. I have laid out a path for you that leads to richness, not just in material wealth, but in every aspect of life. Success is not far off, it awaits you as you trust in my timing and follow my lead. Let's talk about richness. True richness comes from a heart full of gratitude and a life filled with love. As you grow in wealth, remember to remain humble and generous. The riches I provide are meant to be shared. Give generously and watch how your life becomes even richer in joy and peace. Success is more than achieving your goals. It is about becoming the person I designed you to be, compassionate, resilient, and wise. Success comes from walking in my ways and reflecting my love to the world. As you pursue your ambitions, keep your integrity and your values at the forefront. These are the true markers of success. Happiness is a blessing that flows from a deep connection with me. It arises from knowing who you are in my eyes, valued, loved, and cherished. Find joy in the small things, a sunrise, a moment of quiet, a smile from a stranger. These daily blessings are reminders of my care for you. Health is a precious gift. Take care of your body, for it is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Eat well, exercise, and rest. As you look after your physical well-being, your capacity to enjoy life and fulfill your purpose increases. Now, as you embark on this journey toward richness, success, happiness, and health, here are some steps to keep in mind. Prayer is your lifeline. It keeps you tethered to my wisdom and strength. Spend time in my presence every day. The more you communicate with me, the clearer your path will become. The Bible is full of guidance on how to live a life full of blessings. It teaches you how to handle wealth responsibly, how to find success in your endeavors, and how to maintain joy and health. The road to these blessings may not always be smooth. There will be challenges and setbacks, but these are part of the growth process. Embrace each lesson and keep moving forward. Always look for reasons to be thankful. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It brings perspective to our circumstances, turning obstacles into opportunities. Service is a powerful way to manifest richness and success in your life. When you help others, you align yourself with my principles and experience the joy and fulfillment that come from giving. In your pursuit of success, never compromise your ethics or your character. True success is doing the right thing, even when it's challenging or when no one is watching. Surround yourself with people who encourage and support you. Relationships are the foundation of a happy life. Invest in your family, cherish your friends, and cultivate new connections. Type 777 to claim God gift.
Never stop learning. Knowledge and wisdom are keys to success and can guide you in making smart decisions for your health and wealth. No matter how much you achieve, remember where your blessings come from. Humility allows you to receive even more from me as it keeps your heart in the right place. Above all, trust that the plan I have for you is perfect. It's tailored to bring out the best in you and designed to prepare you for eternity with me. My dear child, the journey ahead is bright with promise. You are on your way to being rich in ways the world may not understand, but in ways that fulfill and satisfy the soul. You are destined for success that illuminates your life and inspires others. Happiness and health are within your reach because you are blessed by me. Walk boldly in this truth and watch as my blessings unfold in your life. God says, my dear child, believe in me because I'm here to fix things and make life wonderful for you. Trust in my power and my love for you, for I am always working on your behalf, even in ways you might not see. When you face difficulties, remember that I am with you, offering my strength and wisdom. I can turn any situation around, mend what is broken, and bring hope where there is despair. My plans for you are filled with good things, and I am committed to seeing you through every challenge. Begin each day with a prayer, asking for my guidance and expressing your trust in me. This daily connection will strengthen our relationship and help you feel my presence more deeply in your life. As you talk to me, share all your concerns and dreams. I listen to every word and nothing is too small or too big for me to handle. Read my word regularly. The Bible is full of promises and truths that will reassure you of my care and help you navigate life's complexities. It is a source of comfort and instruction, a light that can guide your steps and illuminate your path. Be patient as you wait for my work to unfold in your life. My timing is perfect, although it may not align with your expectations. Sometimes, the greatest blessings come through waiting and trusting in my divine timing. During these waiting periods, I am not idle, I am preparing you and your circumstances to receive the blessings I have in store. Cultivate a heart of gratitude. Being thankful for what you already have opens the door for more blessings. It shifts your focus from what is lacking to the abundance I have already provided. This perspective brings joy and contentment, enriching your life even as you wait for other things to be mended or improved. Serve others and extend kindness. When you focus on helping others, you align yourself with my work in the world. Serving is not only a path to personal fulfillment, but also a way to experience the joy and peace that come from living selflessly. As you give of yourself, you will find that your own problems often seem smaller, and you may even discover solutions in the process. Stay connected with a community of faith. Belonging to a community that shares your beliefs and supports you can significantly enhance your spiritual growth. These relationships provide encouragement, accountability, and love, all of which are essential for a wonderful life. Embrace every lesson that life teaches you. Challenges are not merely obstacles but opportunities to grow stronger and wiser. With my help, you can learn from every situation, using your experiences to build a richer, more resilient character. Maintain your integrity and uphold your values, no matter the circumstances. Living a life of honesty and virtue brings blessings that far outweigh the temporary gains of compromise. When you choose the higher path, I will honor your choices and bless you abundantly. Take care of your health, both physical and spiritual. A healthy body supports a vibrant life, and a nourished spirit enables you to connect deeply with me. 
exercise, eat well, rest, and spend time nurturing your spiritual life through prayer and meditation on my words. Remember to forgive. Holding on to anger or resentment can hinder your ability to experience the wonderful life I have planned for you. Forgiveness frees you from the past and prepares you to receive the new things I want to do in your life. Stay hopeful and optimistic about the future. I have overcome the world, and with me, you too can overcome any difficulty you face. The hope I offer is not based on circumstances, but on my unchanging character and promises. Always remember that you are loved beyond measure. My love for you is constant and unconditional. It is the foundation of everything I do in your life. Let this assurance fill you with confidence and peace as you face each day. Believe in me, my dear child, because I am here to fix things and make your life wonderful. Walk with me, trust in my ways, and you will see the beautiful unfolding of my plan for your life. The journey may have its ups and downs, but with me, the destination is always a place of joy and fulfillment. Live each day with the knowledge that I am with you, watching over you and guiding your steps. Each moment you live under my watchful eye is an opportunity to experience the fullness of my love and the wonders of my creation. As you recognize my handiwork in the beauty around you and the small miracles that fill your days, your faith in me will deepen and your heart will overflow with joy. Pray for wisdom regularly. Wisdom from above is pure, peaceable, gentle, and willing to yield. It is full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. As you grow in wisdom, you will make decisions that bring peace and prosperity, not only to your life but also to the lives of those around you. Keep your heart free from the love of money. Remember, it is the root of all kinds of evil. While it is necessary for daily living, do not let it control you or dictate your happiness. Instead, find your satisfaction in me and my provision. I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. As you prioritize your relationship with me, I will ensure that you have what you need to live a full and abundant life. Embrace change with courage. I am the God who makes all things new, and sometimes that means leading you through unfamiliar territory. When you face changes, know that I am with you, making paths straight and turning darkness into light. These are the moments when you can truly witness my power and glory as you walk hand in hand with me. Practice humility in all things. Humility attracts my presence and is the key to accessing my kingdom. As you humble yourself under my mighty hand, I will exalt you in due time. Humility allows you to see yourself and others as I see you, with love and compassion. It is through this lens that you can truly live a life that reflects my character. Seek to understand my heart for the world. My love extends beyond boundaries and borders, reaching into every corner of the earth. As you align your heart with mine, you will develop a passion for serving and loving others, no matter their background or circumstances. This alignment brings a profound sense of connection to the larger purpose I have for you and for humanity. Reflect on my faithfulness. Look back on your life and see the many ways I have been faithful to you. These memories are stones of remembrance, building a monument to my unending faithfulness. They serve as a foundation for your trust in me, strengthening your faith when the road ahead seems uncertain. Cultivate a spirit of joy. Joy is a fruit of my spirit and a sign that you are living in harmony with me. It is deeper than mere happiness, which depends on external circumstances. 
Joy springs from the depths of your soul, from knowing you are forever held in the embrace of my love. Be a vessel of my peace. In a world filled with strife and confusion, be a peacemaker. My peace is not as the world gives, it is enduring and transcends all understanding. As you carry this peace with you, you will be a light to others, drawing them to me through your calm and reassuring presence. And finally, continue to walk in faith and obedience. The road to a wonderful life is paved with faithfulness and obedience to my commands. These are not burdensome, they are the means by which you experience the fullness of life I have for you. Believe in me, my dear child, for I am here to make all things new for you. Your faith in me will be rewarded with a life that is rich in love, filled with success, brimming with happiness, and radiant with health. Embrace this promise and move forward with confidence, knowing that I am always with you, fixing things, and making your life truly wonderful. God says, my dear child, I am the God who heals, makes whole, and saves. Trust in me, for I am your refuge and your strength, a very present help in times of trouble. I am here to restore you, to bring peace to your mind, and to offer salvation for your soul. Understand that healing comes in many forms. Sometimes it is the healing of the body, where sickness and pain are removed and health is restored. Other times, it is the healing of the heart, where wounds from the past are mended and emotional burdens are lifted. Always, it is the healing of the spirit, where you are made whole by my presence and by the salvation I freely offer. When you feel broken, remember that I am close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. I see your pain, I know your heartache, and I am here to heal you. Each tear you shed is precious to me, and I am waiting to wipe every tear from your eyes to bring joy where there has been sorrow and peace where there has been turmoil. Turn to me in prayer, my child. Speak to me honestly about what hurts, what fears you hold, and what dreams you cherish. I am listening, always ready to offer comfort and guidance. In prayer, you find the strength to face each day and the hope to continue moving forward. Seek me in my word. The Bible is filled with promises of my care and declarations of my power to heal and save. These words are not just ancient texts, they are alive and active, able to speak into your very situation. They are a balm for your soul, a guide for your path, and a lamp to your feet. Remember, my child, that healing is a process. It often takes time, patience, and faith. Do not be discouraged if the restoration you seek does not come immediately. My timing is perfect, and my methods are sure. Trust that I am working, even when you cannot see it. Type 2121 if you believe in God's timing. Share your struggles with a community of believers. You are not meant to walk this journey alone. My body, the church, is here to support you, to pray with you, and to help carry your burdens. In fellowship, you find strength and encouragement as others walk alongside you, sharing their faith and lifting you up. Live a life of gratitude. Even in the midst of trials, there are blessings to be found. By focusing on these blessings, your spirit is lifted and your heart is open to further healing. Gratitude changes your perspective, allowing you to see my hand at work in all things. Serve others even as you seek healing. In service, you often find your own spirit uplifted. The act of giving, of extending kindness and love, can itself be a powerful form of healing, both for you and for those you help. Maintain a spirit of forgiveness. Holding on to anger, resentment, or bitterness can hinder your healing. 
Forgive those who have hurt you, just as I have forgiven you. In forgiveness, you find freedom and a path to wholeness. Stay hopeful, my child. My plans for you are good, filled with hope and a future. I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you. No matter the challenges you face, you can be confident that I am with you, working all things for your good. Be assured of my love for you. It is steadfast and everlasting. My love is powerful enough to heal your deepest wounds and strong enough to save your soul. It is a love that never fails, never gives up, and never runs out. Remember that I am your Savior. I have saved you not just from sin and death, but from every force that seeks to harm you. My salvation is complete, encompassing every aspect of your life. In me, you find safety, you find healing, and you find wholeness. Believe in me, my dear child, for I am the God who heals, makes whole, and saves. Hold on to my promises, lean on my strength, and rest in my love. With me, you will overcome, and in me, you will find everything you need. God says, my dear child, I am here to give strength to those who are tired and hope to those who feel hopeless. Remember that I am always with you, providing for you, caring for you, and loving you endlessly. When you feel weary, come to me, and I will renew your strength. Imagine walking through a vast, open field under a sky that stretches endlessly above. The path is long, and your body feels the weight of the journey. It is at this moment, when your steps begin to falter and your spirit starts to wane, that I come alongside you. I offer you my hand, not just to hold but to lift you up and carry you forward. When you are tired, I am your rest. Lay down your burdens, they are too heavy for you to carry alone. Give them to me, and let me bear the weight. As you release these burdens, you will feel lighter, and your steps will become easier. Rest in my presence, and allow me to restore your energy. To those who feel hopeless, know that I am the source of all hope. In me, you find reasons to believe in a brighter tomorrow. Hope in me does not disappoint, because my love for you is poured out through my spirit, who has been given to you. This hope is not based on the circumstances you see, but on the promises I have made. I am like the dawn that follows the darkest part of the night. Just when you think the darkness will never end, the first light of morning breaks the horizon. Hope is knowing that the light will come, no matter how dark it gets. Trust that I will bring this light into your life. Remember the stories of those who trusted in me before you. They faced seas that needed parting, giants that needed defeating, and armies that outnumbered them. In each story, my strength and hope prevailed. These stories are reminders that no situation is too dire for me to handle. Speak to me in prayer. It is through prayer that you connect directly with me, pouring out your heart and hearing my voice. Tell me about your fatigue, your discouragement, and your desires. I am listening, and I am eager to respond with comfort and guidance. Dive into my word. The Bible is filled with verses that offer encouragement and hope. Let these scriptures sink deep into your heart and resonate in your soul. They are there to lift you up and remind you of my faithful promises. Stay connected with others who believe in me. There is strength in community, and hope is more easily sustained when shared among friends who can encourage and support you. Let them walk with you, pray with you, and help you carry your burdens. Serve others, even when you feel you have little to give. In serving, you will discover that your own problems are put into perspective. You will also experience the joy and fulfillment that come from making a difference in someone else's life. 
Stay hopeful, my child. Hope is a powerful force that propels you forward even against strong winds of adversity. With hope, you can envision a future that is bright and full of potential. Keep this vision in your mind and let it motivate you each day. Be patient as you wait for my timing. My plans for you are worth the wait and my timing is perfect. Although it may not align with your own timeline, it is designed to bring about the best possible outcomes. Finally, always remember that you are deeply loved. My love for you is eternal and unconditional. It does not depend on what you do or how well you perform. It is constant and unchanging. In this love, find your ultimate rest and hope. So, my dear child, when you are tired, I am your strength, when you feel hopeless, I am your hope. Lean on me, trust in me, and rest assured that I am always with you, ready to carry you through every trial and lift you to new heights of peace and fulfillment. Hold fast to this truth, and let it sustain you through every challenge you face. God says, my dear child, if you're feeling hurt, whether in your body, heart, or spirit, I am here to make you whole again. Trust in me, for I am your healer, your comforter, and your steadfast support. When pain touches your body, it can seem like a shadow over your daily life, making even simple tasks difficult. Turn to me in prayer, share your physical ailments with me. I created you, understand every cell in your body, and have the power to heal you. While healing may sometimes be immediate or may take time, know that I am with you, working for your good in ways you may not see. If your heart is wounded, perhaps by broken relationships, lost dreams, or deep disappointment, come to me with all your broken pieces. I am close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. My love is powerful enough to mend any heartache, to restore any loss that seems irreparable. Let my promises to be with you always soothe and repair the deepest hurts. When your spirit is bruised, feeling disconnected or lost, I am here to renew your strength and restore your joy. The burdens of life can sometimes weigh heavily on your soul, making you feel weary and lost. But remember, I am the lifter of your head and the restorer of your soul. Seek me in the quiet moments, in scripture, and in the sanctuary of prayer. I will meet you there, lift you up, and breathe new life into your spirit. Come to me in honest prayer, not holding back. Tell me where it hurts and how you feel. I am always listening, and my heart is moved by your pleas. My scriptures are full of healing power and comfort. Words like, by my stripes, you are healed, or, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, are there to heal and comfort you. Do not isolate yourself in times of pain. Share your struggles with trusted friends or a community of believers. They can offer prayers, support, and practical help. Comment yes I have faith in God. Even when you're hurting, helping others can bring healing to your own life. It shifts your focus from your pain to the needs of others, providing a sense of purpose and joy. Even in pain, there are blessings around you. Maintaining an attitude of gratitude can change your outlook, lift your spirits, and lead you towards healing. Sometimes, making you whole may involve doctors, counselors, or other professionals. I work through them too. Do not hesitate to seek help when the burden is beyond what you can bear alone. Spend time resting in my presence through meditation on my word, quiet prayer, or listening to worship music. My presence will bring you peace and restoration. Forgiveness is a powerful key to healing. It releases you from the grip of past pain and opens the door to a new beginning. My plans for you are for a future filled with hope. 
expect good things from me, and watch as I turn your mourning into dancing and your sorrow into joy. I have promised never to leave you nor forsake you. Hold on to my promises, for they are yes and amen. They are the bedrock upon which you can stand when everything else feels shaky. My dear child, healing is a journey, and I am with you every step of the way. You are never alone, for I am just a prayer away. Whether your pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I am here to make you whole again. Trust in my perfect love and healing power, and let me restore you completely. My dear child, in the toughest times, know that I am with you. Even when you feel overwhelmed and unsure, remember that I am beside you, guiding and supporting you through every challenge. I understand the hardships you face and the struggles that weigh heavily on your heart. In these moments of difficulty, I am as close to you as your own breath, whispering strength and hope into your spirit. Life can sometimes bring you to places that seem dark and desolate, where hope feels distant and happiness seems to be a memory. In these times, it is easy to feel alone, abandoned, or forgotten. But, my child, I assure you, you are never alone. I am always here, holding your hand, walking beside you, sharing in every moment. Remember the times you faced challenges before? You were not alone then, and you are not alone now. I was there, turning obstacles into opportunities and tears into lessons of growth and resilience. Each trial you encounter is a step toward greater wisdom and strength. They are not meant to break you, but to build you. In your journey, there will be moments when you stumble and fall. It is part of being human. But remember, every time you fall, I am there to catch you. I will help you rise, dust off the despair, and move forward with renewed purpose. My love for you is unending and unfaltering. It does not waver based on circumstances or falter under pressure. When the nights are long and the shadows grow, when you feel the chill of fear and doubt creeping in, reach out to me. Speak to me in your thoughts, call to me in your whispers. I am listening. I am responding. Not always in the ways you might expect or desire, but always in the ways that are best for you. My plans for you are perfect in their timing and precise in their unfolding. I have given you a spirit of courage, not of fear. This courage is born from knowing that you are not navigating your path alone. Lean on me, rely on my strength, and let it be your anchor. When the winds of adversity blow, they will not overcome you. You have the power to stand firm because I am with you. There are lessons in your losses and gifts in your trials. I know it may be hard to see them now, but in time, the reasons will become clearer. Trust in my timing and my will. My vision for your life is greater than any you could imagine for yourself. While the path may twist and turn, it is leading you to places of deeper understanding and greater fulfillment. Share your burdens with me and let me lighten your load. You are not meant to carry this weight alone. Give me your worries and your fears, your doubts and your despair. In exchange, take my peace, which surpasses all understanding. Let it fill your heart and mind, providing comfort and calm in the midst of the storm. Do not be disheartened by the troubles of today, for they are fleeting and temporary. Look to the future with hope and to the past with gratitude. There is much to be thankful for, even in the trials, for they have shaped you and strengthened you. They have prepared you for greater things to come. And as you continue on your journey, remember to extend the same love and comfort to others. Just as I am with you in your toughest times, you can be a source of light and encouragement to those around you. 
your experience and your empathy are gifts that can uplift and inspire. Share them generously. Finally, know that I am proud of you. Every step you take, every decision you make, I am with you, cheering you on, celebrating your victories, and comforting you in your defeats. You are my beloved child, and my love for you is eternal. In the toughest times, when you feel most alone, remember this simple truth, I am with you always, in all ways. When God says, my dear child, our connection lasts forever, it's like a gentle whisper of eternity that resonates in the depths of our souls. These words carry a profound truth, a truth that transcends time and space, binding us to the divine in an unbreakable bond of love and grace. In calling us, my dear child, God speaks to the intimacy of our relationship with him. We are not merely servants or subjects, but beloved children of the Most High. It's a term of endearment that reflects the tender affection God has for each one of us, a love that knows no bounds. Our connection lasts forever, this statement holds the promise of eternal communion with God. It's a declaration of His faithfulness, a reassurance that His love for us will never fade or diminish. No matter where life may take us, we can rest assured that our connection with God remains steadfast and unchanging. This connection is not based on our own merits or accomplishments, but is a gift freely given by God. It's rooted in His grace and mercy, extended to us through the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, Christ opened the way for us to enter into a deep and intimate relationship with God, one that transcends the limitations of this earthly existence. God's desire for connection with us is evident throughout Scripture. From the Garden of Eden to the shores of Galilee, we see God reaching out to his children, longing for fellowship and communion. He is not a distant deity, but a loving Father who delights in our presence and rejoices over us with singing. Our connection with God is sustained through prayer, worship, and the reading of His Word. These spiritual disciplines serve as channels through which we can experience His presence and hear His voice. In the stillness of prayer, we can pour out our hearts to God, knowing that He hears and responds to our every need. But our connection with God goes beyond mere communication, it's a deep and abiding union of hearts and souls. Just as a branch remains connected to the vine, drawing nourishment and life from its source, so too are we connected to God, the source of all life and love. As we abide in Him and He in us, we bear fruit that reflects His character and nature. This connection is not limited by time or space, but transcends the boundaries of this earthly existence. Even death cannot sever the bond between God and His children, for we are united with Him in spirit and will dwell with Him for all eternity. This is the hope that sustains us through life's trials and tribulations, the assurance that we are never alone. In a world marked by constant change and uncertainty, our connection with God remains an anchor of stability and security. It's a source of strength and courage in the face of adversity, a light that guides us through the darkest valleys. When we feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, we can turn to God and find refuge in His presence. But our connection with God is not just for our own benefit, it's also a call to share His love with others. As recipients of His grace, we are called to be channels of His love and mercy in the world, reaching out to those in need and sharing the good news of salvation. In doing so, we participate in God's redemptive work, bringing hope and healing to a broken and hurting world. As we journey through life, let us never forget the profound truth of God's words, my dear child, our connection lasts forever. 
May this assurance fill us with joy and gratitude, inspiring us to live each day in intimate communion with our Heavenly Father. And may we, in turn, share His love with all those we encounter until the day when we are united with Him in glory forevermore. Amen. When God says, My dear child, I will mend every hurt and turn every setback into a remarkable victory, He offers a promise of restoration and redemption that surpasses all understanding. These words carry the power to heal the deepest wounds and transform the darkest moments into opportunities for growth and triumph. In addressing us as, My dear child, God speaks to the intimacy of our relationship with Him. We are not merely distant subjects but beloved sons and daughters, cherished by our Heavenly Father. It's a term of endearment that reflects His deep and abiding love for each one of us. I will mend every hurt, this promise speaks to God's heart as the ultimate healer. He is not indifferent to our pain and suffering but actively works to bring healing and restoration to our lives. Like a skilled physician, he tends to our wounds with gentleness and care, binding up our brokenness and bringing comfort to our souls. God's healing touch extends to every aspect of our being, physical, emotional, and spiritual. He is able to mend the brokenhearted, restore the sick to health, and bring wholeness to the weary and downtrodden. No hurt is too deep for him to heal, no pain too great for him to bear. But God's promise of healing is not just about addressing our immediate needs. It's about transforming our suffering into something beautiful and meaningful. He has the power to take the broken pieces of our lives and weave them together into a tapestry of redemption and grace. What was once a source of pain and sorrow can become a testimony to God's faithfulness and love. I will turn every setback into a remarkable victory, this declaration speaks to God's ability to bring triumph out of defeat. He is not limited by our circumstances or constrained by the challenges we face. Instead, He uses them as opportunities to display His power and glory in our lives. Throughout Scripture, we see God turning the tables on adversity, using the weak to confound the strong and the foolish to shame the wise. From the story of Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his brothers but ultimately rose to become a powerful ruler in Egypt, to the account of David, who defeated the giant Goliath against all odds, we see God's hand at work, turning setbacks into victories. But God's victories are not always of the earthly kind, they often involve a deeper, more profound transformation of the heart. He has the power to take our failures and shortcomings and use them to mold us into the image of Christ, teaching us humility, perseverance, and dependence on Him alone. In the midst of our trials and tribulations, it can be easy to lose sight of God's promise of victory. We may become discouraged and disheartened, wondering if God has forgotten about us or if He even cares. But His word remains true and His promises are sure. When we feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, we can turn to God in prayer, trusting that He is working all things together for our good. Even in the darkest moments, His light shines through, offering hope and encouragement to press on type 222 to make it happen. With God by our side, we can face any obstacle with confidence, knowing that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. But God's promise of victory is not just for our own benefit, it's also an invitation to join him in his redemptive work in the world. As we experience his healing and restoration in our own lives, we are called to be agents of His grace and mercy to those around us. Through acts of kindness, compassion, and love, we can be a living testimony to the power of God to bring victory out of defeat. As we journey through life, 
let us hold fast to the promise of God's healing touch and transformative power. May we never lose hope in his ability to mend every hurt and turn every setback into a remarkable victory. And may we, in turn, be vessels of his grace and instruments of his peace, bringing light and hope to a world in need. Amen. When God says, My dear child, trust in me, and I promise you will not be let down, he extends an invitation to place our faith and confidence in him, knowing that he will never fail us. These words carry the weight of divine assurance, a guarantee of God's unwavering faithfulness and steadfast love. In addressing us as, My dear child, God speaks to the intimacy of our relationship with him. We are not distant strangers, but beloved sons and daughters, cherished by our Heavenly Father. It's a term of endearment that reflects his deep and abiding love for each one of us. Trust in me, this command calls us to surrender our doubts and fears and place our full confidence in God. It's an invitation to relinquish control and lean on his wisdom and strength. When we trust in God, we acknowledge his sovereignty over our lives and submit to his perfect plan and purpose. But trusting in God does not mean that life will be free from challenges or difficulties. In fact, it's often in the midst of trials and tribulations that our faith is tested the most. Yet, even in the darkest moments, God remains faithful, steadfast in his love and unwavering in his promises. When we encounter obstacles or setbacks, it can be tempting to rely on our own understanding or seek solutions apart from God. But true wisdom lies in trusting in the Lord with all our hearts and leaning not on our own understanding. He alone knows the plans he has for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. In times of uncertainty and doubt, we can find reassurance in the promises of God's word. Throughout scripture, we see countless examples of his faithfulness to his people, from the parting of the Red Sea to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Time and time again, God has proven himself trustworthy, never failing to come through for those who put their trust in him. I promise you will not be let down, this declaration speaks to the reliability of God's character. He is not a man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. What he says, he will do, and what he promises, he will fulfill. His word is like a rock, solid and unchanging, upon which we can build our lives. But God's promise of never letting us down goes beyond mere words, it's backed by his actions throughout history. He has delivered his people from bondage, provided for their needs in the wilderness, and conquered their enemies on their behalf. He is a God who is faithful to his covenant promises, never abandoning his children or leaving them to fend for themselves. Even when we falter and fail, God remains steadfast in his love for us. He is patient and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. When we repent of our sins and turn back to him, he is quick to forgive and restore us to fellowship with him. Trusting in God requires surrendering our own desires and agenda and submitting to his will for our lives. It's not always easy, especially when his ways seem to contradict our own or when we face opposition from the world. But as we yield to his leading and trust in his guidance, we will experience his peace that surpasses all understanding. In times of doubt and uncertainty, we can cling to the promises of God's word as an anchor for our souls. He has promised to never leave us or forsake us, to be with us always, even to the end of the age. With him by our side, we can face whatever challenges come our way with confidence and courage. But trusting in God is not just a one-time decision, it's a daily choice that we must make. 
Each day, we must choose to place our trust in him anew, surrendering our fears and anxieties and resting in his unfailing love. As we do, we will discover the joy and peace that come from knowing that we are held securely in the palm of his hand. So, let us heed the words of God, my dear child, trust in me, and I promise you will not be let down. May we place our faith and confidence in him, knowing that he is faithful to his promises and trustworthy in all his ways. And may we, in turn, be a testimony to his faithfulness, shining his light in a world that is desperate for hope and assurance. Amen. When God says, my dear child, every day will bring new chances to grow, succeed, and have plenty, he offers a message of hope and encouragement that transcends the limitations of our circumstances. These words carry the promise of new beginnings, opportunities for personal growth, and the abundance of blessings that God desires to pour out upon his children. In addressing us as, my dear child, God speaks to the intimacy of our relationship with him. We are not merely distant acquaintances, but beloved sons and daughters, cherished by our Heavenly Father. It's a term of endearment that reflects His deep and abiding love for each one of us. Every day will bring new chances to grow, this promise speaks to the ongoing process of spiritual formation and maturity. God is continually at work in our lives, shaping and molding us into the image of Christ. Each day presents us with opportunities to learn and grow, to become more like Him in character and conduct. But growth doesn't happen automatically, it requires our active participation and cooperation with the Holy Spirit. As we study God's Word, spend time in prayer, and engage in fellowship with other believers, we allow God to cultivate the fruits of the Spirit within us, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Every day will bring new chances to succeed, this promise speaks to God's desire for us to live fruitful and productive lives. Type 1 Love You God He has equipped each one of us with unique gifts, talents, and abilities, and He delights in seeing us use them for His glory and the benefit of others. Success, in God's eyes, is not measured by worldly standards but by our faithfulness and obedience to His will. But success is not without its challenges and obstacles. Along the journey, we may face setbacks, failures, and disappointments. Yet, even in the midst of adversity, God remains faithful, working all things together for our good. He is able to turn our trials into triumphs and use our weaknesses for His glory. As we seek to fulfill God's purposes for our lives, we can take comfort in knowing that He is with us every step of the way. He is our strength in times of weakness, our wisdom in times of uncertainty, and our guide in times of confusion. With Him by our side, we can face any challenge with confidence and courage. Every day will bring plenty, this promise speaks to God's provision and abundance in our lives. He is not a stingy or reluctant giver but delights in blessing His children with every good gift. Whether it's material blessings, relational blessings, or spiritual blessings, God's desire is for us to experience His abundance in every area of our lives. But God's abundance is not just for our own benefit, it's also meant to overflow to those around us. As we receive God's blessings with gratitude and generosity, we become channels of His grace and instruments of His love in the world. Through acts of kindness, compassion, and generosity, we can share God's abundance with others, bringing hope and healing to a broken and hurting world. In times of scarcity and lack, it can be easy to lose sight of God's promise of plenty. We may be tempted to rely on our own resources or seek fulfillment in material possessions. 
but true abundance is found in Christ alone, who is the source of all blessings and the giver of every good gift. As we trust in God's provision and seek first His kingdom and righteousness, He promises to meet all our needs according to His riches in glory. His provision may not always come in the way or timing we expect, but we can trust that He knows what is best for us and will always provide for us abundantly. So, let us heed the words of God, my dear child, every day will bring new chances to grow, succeed, and have plenty. May we embrace each new day as an opportunity to draw closer to God, to fulfill His purposes for our lives, and to experience His abundance in every area of our lives. And may we, in turn, be a blessing to others, sharing God's abundance with all those we encounter. Amen. Rest assured, dear child, I am always looking out for you. I see your struggles and hear your prayers. Every sigh of hardship and every silent tear that falls from your eyes are known to me. I understand the burdens you carry and the fears that keep you awake at night. You are never alone in your journey, for I am with you at every step, watching over you with an unwavering gaze. In your moments of doubt, remember that my presence is a constant in your life. I am not a distant observer, but an active participant in your struggles. When you feel overwhelmed and unsure where to turn, know that I am right there beside you, offering my strength and guidance. You can lean on me, draw from my power, and find peace in the assurance that I am always near. I am the light that guides you through darkness and the anchor that holds you steady in stormy seas. My love for you is deep and unending, encompassing you in warmth and safety. It is a shield that protects you and a source of comfort that soothes your weary soul. Trust in my love and let it be the foundation upon which you build your hope and resilience. Life can indeed be challenging, presenting obstacles that seem insurmountable. During these times, it might feel as though every turn leads to more difficulties. But remember, my child, that each challenge is also an opportunity for growth and strength. I am carefully shaping your path, turning each hardship into a stepping stone towards greater wisdom and understanding. In the quiet moments when you reach out to me in prayer, know that I am listening intently. Your words do not vanish into the void, they reach me, and I am moved by them. My responses may not always be immediate or in the form you expect, but they are always crafted in love and perfect timing. My answers are designed to bring about the best outcomes, helping you to grow and flourish. Your pain does not go unnoticed. I feel it as deeply as you do. It grieves me to see you hurt, and it is my desire to bring you relief and joy. Be patient, dear one, as I work through your circumstances. The night may be long, but joy comes with the morning. Your current troubles will not last forever, they are temporary, and soon you will see the light of relief and renewal. Take comfort in the knowledge that I am always working for your good. Even when you cannot see the way forward, I am arranging the pieces of your life's puzzle to fit together in a beautiful and purposeful design. Type God is with me. Trust that I have your best interests at heart and that everything that happens is part of a larger plan to bless you and bring you happiness. Do not be afraid to pour out your heart to me, for I am the greatest confidant you will ever have. Tell me about your hopes, your dreams, your fears, and your disappointments. Share with me everything that weighs on your heart. In exchange, I will give you my peace, which surpasses all understanding. This peace will guard your heart and mind, keeping you calm and focused even in the face of adversity. Remember to look for the signs of my love all around you. 
It can be found in the beauty of a sunset, the laughter of a child, or the kindness of a stranger. Each of these is a reminder that you are not forgotten. I am speaking to you through the little things, sending you messages of encouragement and affirmation. Open your heart to receive these blessings, and let them fill you with joy and gratitude. And as you experience my love and care, be a reflection of it to others. Spread kindness and compassion wherever you go. Your life is a testimony of my love in action. Use it to lift others up and to bring light into darkness. The love you share will return to you multiplied and shining brightly. Finally, my dear child, take heart and be encouraged. You have a purpose and a destiny that is uniquely yours. I am guiding you gently towards fulfilling your calling. Stay true to the path I have set before you and trust that I am always looking out for you. No matter what you face, you will not face it alone. I am here, loving you, supporting you, and cheering you on every step of the way. So rest easy, dear child, in the assurance that I am always looking out for you. I see your struggles, I hear your prayers, and I am actively working to bring you comfort and victory. In your toughest times, remember this simple truth, I am with you always, in all ways. My dear child, just ask for my help, and I'll be right there with you. You never need to feel like you're alone or that your voice is lost in the chaos of the world. When you call out to me, know that I am listening attentively, ready to step in and offer the support and guidance you need. I am always just a prayer away, waiting to hear from you, eager to help. Remember that no problem is too small or too large for me to handle. Whether it's a worry that keeps you up at night or a challenge that seems insurmountable, I am here to help you through it. The moments when you feel overwhelmed are the perfect time to reach out to me. I can bring peace to your anxious thoughts and clarity to your confusion. All you need to do is ask, and my presence will bring calm to the storm around you. I understand that life can be tough. You face many pressures and demands that can wear you down. Sometimes, you might feel like you're carrying a heavy burden on your own. But remember, you don't have to bear it alone. I am here to carry the load with you. Share your burdens with me and let me lighten your load with my strength and wisdom. You might wonder how to ask for my help. It's simple, just talk to me. You don't need elaborate words or special rituals. Speak from your heart, whether in silence or out loud, through tears or with a whisper. I understand your heart's language perfectly. Tell me what troubles you, what scares you, or what confuses you. I am all ears and ready to help in ways that will best serve you. In your daily life, when decisions weigh heavily on you, ask for my wisdom. I can illuminate your path and show you the right steps to take. Trust that I will guide your decisions, leading you to outcomes that are for your highest good. Even when the path isn't clear, one step of faith towards me will open up new possibilities. My wisdom is a gift freely given to those who seek it. Sometimes, you may feel like I am not answering or that I am too far away. During these times, it is important to remain patient and steadfast in your faith. My timing is perfect, though it often doesn't align with your own desires. I see the entire journey and know the best moments to act in order to bring about blessings and growth. Trust that I am working behind the scenes on your behalf, preparing the way even when you cannot see it. I am not only a helper but also a source of comfort. In times of sorrow or pain, reach out to me for consolation. I can heal your broken heart and restore your spirit. My love is a balm for your wounds, and my peace can soothe your soul. 
Let me wrap you in my loving embrace where you can find rest and renewal. Remember to listen for my response after you ask for help. I speak in various ways, through the words of a friend, an unexpected opportunity, a restored relationship, or a moment of quiet inspiration. Stay open to the many ways I communicate with you. My answers may be subtle or profound, but they will always come. In addition to asking for my help, be open to acting on the guidance I provide. Faith is active, not passive. When I show you a path, be brave and walk it. Trust that I am with you on that path, strengthening you and cheering you on. Your action combined with my guidance will lead to wonderful achievements and deep satisfaction. Moreover, as you experience my help and presence, share these experiences with others. Your stories of faith and miracles are powerful testimonies that can encourage and uplift those around you. Let others know how I've helped you and be a living example of my love and power. Your life can inspire others to seek my help in their own lives. Finally, never forget how much I love you. My love for you is unending and unconditional. It is the core of everything I do for you. When you ask for my help, you are tapping into that boundless love. I want the best for you because you are precious to me. Always hold on to the truth that you are cherished and valued. So, my dear child, remember this simple but profound truth. Just ask for my help and I'll be right there with you. Whether in times of need or moments of thankfulness, reach out. I am always ready to listen, always ready to support, always ready to love. My dear child, I see you, I hear you, and I will rescue you from your troubles. You are never invisible to me, nor is your voice ever drowned out by the noise of the world. Every moment of your life is within my sight, and every whisper of your heart reaches my ears. When you feel lost or overwhelmed, remember that I am here, ready to lift you out of your distress and into my peace. In the quiet solitude of your darkest hours, when you feel isolated and forgotten, know that I am closer than ever. I see the struggles that weigh heavily on your heart, the fears, the doubts, and the pain. I understand them deeply and completely. Shout bless me my Lord Jesus. You do not need to bear these burdens alone. Call out to me, and I will be right there to offer you the strength and comfort you need. It can be hard to see a way out when you are surrounded by difficulties. The walls may seem too high and the water too deep, but I am a master of paths and a calmer of storms. Trust that I have the power to change your circumstances. I can open doors where there seem to be only walls and create opportunities for relief and escape where there appeared to be none. When you reach out to me in prayer, be assured that I am listening intently. Each word you speak resonates with me, and I am moved by your sincerity and need. Do not be discouraged if the answer does not come immediately or in the form you expect. My ways and thoughts are higher than yours, and I know exactly what you need and when you need it. My timing is perfect, always designed for your greatest good. I hear your prayers not just for rescue but also for understanding and patience. I will grant you these, too. While you wait for deliverance, I will give you the strength to endure and the wisdom to learn from your challenges. These trials are not pointless, they are shaping you, molding you into a stronger, wiser person who will be better equipped to face the future and to help others. In your journey through hardships, look for my presence in the midst of your troubles. I am often most visible in the care of a friend, the kindness of a stranger, or the unexpected good that emerges from a bad situation. These are signs of my involvement in your life, reminders that I am active and attentive to your needs. 
Remember the times in the past when I have rescued you. Each instance was a demonstration of my love and power. Just as I have helped you before, I will help you again. History repeats itself in my faithfulness. Let these memories be the bedrock of your faith as you face current and future challenges. Furthermore, as you experience my deliverance, let it fill you with hope and gratitude. These feelings will fortify your spirit against despair and negativity. Share your stories of how I have rescued you with others. Your testimony can be a beacon of hope to someone else in distress, a tangible example of my love and intervention. Also, learn to trust in my ability to rescue you. This trust will not make the problems disappear instantly, but it will change how you view them. Instead of seeing insurmountable obstacles, you will see challenges that are manageable with my help. With this perspective, peace and confidence will grow within you, reducing the power that fear and anxiety have over you. Moreover, I encourage you to look beyond your own troubles and consider how you can be an instrument of my rescue to others. Just as I comfort you, you can comfort others. Just as I guide you, you can guide others. Your experiences equip you uniquely to serve those around you, extending the rescue you have received from me. Finally, know without a doubt that my love for you is unending. It is the driving force behind every act of rescue, every moment of comfort, and every word of guidance I offer. This love is unconditional, not based on what you have done or what you will do, but simply because you are my child. So, my dear child, never forget this promise. I see you, I hear you, and I will rescue you from your troubles. Lean on me, trust in me, and wait patiently for my saving hand. I am always here, always watching, always ready to act in love. You are cherished, protected, and never alone. My dear child, I have an amazing plan for your life, one that includes making things better for you, helping you feel better, and getting you out of tough spots. I know it may be hard to see and understand at times, especially when you are facing challenges, but trust in my vision for you. It is crafted with the utmost care, deep love, and profound wisdom, designed to bring you joy, growth, and fulfillment. Firstly, know that my plan for you includes making things better for you. This means improving your circumstances, opening new doors of opportunity, and leading you into a future filled with hope. Sometimes, the improvement may not come in the ways you expect or desire, but they are all part of a larger design, meticulously pieced together to lead to your ultimate good. I am aware of all that you need, sometimes even before you know it yourself. Whether it's a better job, healthier relationships, or deeper personal growth, I am working behind the scenes to bring these things into your life. Patience is required, though, as these plans unfold in my perfect timing, which aligns everything so precisely that one day you will look back in awe at how beautifully everything has come together. Helping you feel better is also a key part of my plan. I care deeply about your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. I desire for you to feel peace, happiness, and wellness. When you are hurt, I feel your pain, and I am right there to comfort you. When you are confused or anxious, I offer my peace, which surpasses all understanding, to calm your mind and soothe your heart. You can come to me in prayer anytime, sharing your deepest concerns and your highest hopes. Talk to me about everything that troubles you and everything that excites you. I am listening, always ready to give you the comfort and guidance you need. Through my words, found in the quiet moments of prayer and reflection, you can find the strength and encouragement to persevere through any situation. Moreover, 
Getting you out of tough spots is an essential aspect of my plan. Life can throw many difficult situations your way, but you are not meant to navigate these alone. I am your steadfast helper, your ever-present support in times of need. Whether you are facing a financial crisis, a health issue, or relational problems, I am here to help you overcome these challenges. When you find yourself in a tough spot, call out to me. My resources are infinite and my ability to provide is beyond all limitations. I can open paths where there seems to be no way forward and provide solutions that you could never have imagined. Trust that I am always on your side, fighting for your best interests and working to bring you out of adversity. As part of this plan, I also guide you to grow in wisdom and strength. Every experience you go through is an opportunity to learn and develop. The challenges are not random, they are part of a purposeful process that helps mold you into the person you are meant to be. Embrace every lesson and every moment of growth, knowing that they contribute to your greater story. Furthermore, remember that my plan for you involves not just your own well-being, but also your impact on others. You are placed where you are for a reason. You have unique talents, abilities, and experiences that equip you to make a difference in the world. As you follow my plan, you will find yourself helping others, spreading hope, and being a light in the darkness. Stay connected with me through prayer, through reading my words, and through fellowship with others who follow me. These connections will keep you grounded and focused on my plan, helping you to stay aligned with my will. They will encourage you when you falter and celebrate with you when you succeed. Lastly, take joy in knowing that this plan is not just for today or tomorrow, but for your entire life. It is a lifelong journey that we will embark on together. With each passing day, you will see more of my plan unfolding, revealing a tapestry of grace and purpose that is rich and fulfilling. So, my dear child, hold on to this promise. I have an amazing plan for your life. It is a plan to prosper you, not to harm you, a plan to give you hope and a future. Type 1313 to claim it. Trust in me, lean on me, and watch as I make things better for you, help you feel better, and guide you out of every tough spot. You are dearly loved, and I am with you every step of the way. My dear child, whenever someone reads this, I hope they feel very special and protected, like they're under a big, safe umbrella where nothing bad can get to them. I want you to know that you are cherished, deeply valued, and enveloped in an unwavering protection that comes from my boundless love for you. Every word I speak over your life serves as a shield, providing comfort and security amid the uncertainties of the world. Imagine holding a large umbrella on a stormy day. The rain pours down around you, the wind howls, but you remain dry and untouched beneath your shield. This is how I protect you. My presence in your life is like that umbrella, constant, covering, and secure. No matter how fierce the storm gets, you can trust that with me, you are safe. You are very special to me. From the moment you were conceived, I have known you and loved you. Every detail of your life is important to me, your joys, your struggles, your successes, and your failures. There is nothing about you that is insignificant. I treasure each moment with you, and I am always eager to hear your voice when you speak to me in prayer. I understand that life can sometimes feel overwhelming, as if the rain will never stop. But remember, I am with you through every downpour. I will never leave you to face your troubles alone. Call out to me, and I will be there to comfort and guide you. My love for you is a sanctuary, a place where you can find peace and rest from the chaos of the world. 
As you read these words, I hope they resonate in your heart, reminding you of your worth and the profound love I have for you. You are not just another face in the crowd, you are unique and irreplaceable. There is no one else like you, and I have a special plan for your life that is designed to give you hope and a future. Feeling protected doesn't mean that challenges will never come your way. However, it does mean that when they do, you won't face them alone. My protection is comprehensive. It guards your heart, your mind, and your spirit. When fears arise, let my words be the calm in the storm, reassuring you that you are under my care. I also hope you feel empowered by my protection. Knowing that you are covered and cared for should give you the courage to face life with confidence. Step out into the world with the assurance that I am with you, backing every step you take. This confidence isn't born from your own strength, but from the knowledge of whose you are and whom you have by your side. Moreover, my protection extends beyond physical safety. It encompasses your emotional and spiritual well-being. In a world that can sometimes be harsh and cold, my love offers warmth and kindness. It is a gentle reminder that you are never alone or unloved. My arms are always open, ready to embrace you and reassure you of your immense value. I hope that as you continue reading, you feel the depth of my commitment to you. My desire is for you to experience life not just as a journey to endure but as an adventure to delight in. With me, you can navigate any circumstance with grace and wisdom. Remember, with my guidance, you can overcome any obstacle. Share this sense of protection and specialness with others. Let your life be a reflection of the security and peace you receive from me. As you interact with those around you, extend the same love and protection that I give you. Be a source of comfort and safety to others, just as I am for you. Finally, remember that my protection is perpetual and unfailing. It doesn't fade with time or diminish in strength. Each day, as you wake up and step into a new beginning, know that my umbrella of protection is unfurled above you, steadfast and sure. No matter what the day brings, you can proceed with confidence, knowing that you are safeguarded by my love. So, my dear child, as you read this, feel very special and exceedingly protected. You are under a big, safe umbrella where nothing bad can reach you. Rest in the assurance of my love and protection, which will forever be yours. You are precious in my eyes, and I am always just a prayer away, ready to cover and comfort you at all times. My dear child, if you ever feel down, remember, as a Christian, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort and strengthen you asterisk asterisk. My dear child, if you ever feel down, remember, as a Christian, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort and strengthen you. During times of sadness, confusion, or weakness, the Holy Spirit works actively in your life, providing the support and encouragement you need to overcome. This divine presence is a constant source of hope and strength, always accessible and forever willing to help. When you feel down, the Holy Spirit is like a gentle whisper in your heart, reminding you of my love and your worth. You are never alone, no matter how isolated you might feel. The Holy Spirit resides within you, a faithful companion in every circumstance. Whether you're facing a minor setback or a major crisis, the comfort provided is both real and powerful. The Holy Spirit is also a source of strength. In moments of weakness, when you feel you can't go on, the Holy Spirit gives you the power to persevere. Type Mighty Jesus please help me. It's like feeling a gentle but firm hand on your back, pushing you forward when you feel like stopping. 
The strength you receive is not just to endure but to thrive, transforming challenges into opportunities for growth and testimony. Remember, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, guiding you into all truth. When doubts cloud your mind or when you feel uncertain about your decisions, ask for guidance. The Holy Spirit will clear your vision and direct your steps. This guidance often comes through a feeling of peace about a certain path or a new insight that suddenly makes everything clear. The comfort of the Holy Spirit is also evident in times of sorrow. It is the comforting arm around your shoulders when you grieve, the soothing voice that calms your fears, and the presence that fills the lonely spaces in your life. In your darkest hours, the Holy Spirit brings light, reminding you of my eternal hope and the joy that awaits beyond current hardships. Moreover, the Holy Spirit is a source of joy and love. Even when external circumstances are challenging, the Holy Spirit can fill you with a joy that transcends these difficulties. This joy does not depend on external conditions but flows from the deep and unshakable knowledge of my love for you. It's a joy that sustains, energizes, and encourages you to view life with optimism and gratitude. In addition to being a comforter and a source of strength, the Holy Spirit also empowers you to fulfill your calling. Each Christian has been given gifts and talents, which the Holy Spirit helps to activate and develop. Whether it's wisdom, faith, healing, prophecy, or teaching, these gifts are enhanced and made effective through the Holy Spirit. This empowerment enables you to contribute to your community and to my kingdom, making a difference in the lives of others. The Holy Spirit also fosters a deep sense of fellowship and unity. As you interact with other believers, the Holy Spirit works to create bonds of love and mutual support. These relationships are sources of comfort and encouragement, helping you to bear burdens and to celebrate victories together. The community of believers is one of the greatest gifts to those who follow me and it is the Holy Spirit that nurtures this family. If you feel down, I encourage you to pray, asking the Holy Spirit to fill you afresh with His presence. Prayer opens your heart to receive more of the Holy Spirit, deepening your relationship with me and enhancing your awareness of my presence in your life. Through prayer, you invite the Holy Spirit to work more powerfully within you transforming your inner being and aligning your heart with my purposes. Remember to listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit. It often speaks in a still, small voice, a nudge, a thought, an impression, or a scripture that suddenly resonates deeply. Learning to recognize and respond to this voice is crucial for your spiritual growth and emotional well-being. It will lead you to choices that bring peace and fulfillment. Finally, my dear child, always cherish the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. It is a precious gift given to comfort, guide, strengthen, and empower you. The Holy Spirit is a seal of your inheritance as my child and a guarantee of my promises to you. It is your daily helper, your advocate, and your teacher, continually working to mold you into the person you are meant to be. So, whenever you feel down, remember that as a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit within you. It is there to comfort you, to strengthen you, and to lift you up. Lean on this divine presence, and let it fill you with peace and hope every day. You are never alone, and with the Holy Spirit, you have everything you need to face whatever comes your way. My dear child, talk to Jesus through prayer whenever you're sad. Ask God to come into your home, take away your worries, and protect and heal your family. Prayer is a powerful tool, a lifeline to divine strength and comfort. It is your direct line to me, always open, always available, no matter the time of day or the depth of your distress. 
when sadness seems overwhelming, know that you are not meant to carry this burden alone. I am here, ready to listen and eager to comfort you. In those moments, speak to Jesus. Share your heart openly, expressing every worry, every fear, and every hope. There is no concern too small or too insignificant for me. I care deeply about all that affects you and your loved ones. Asking me to come into your home is inviting me to be an active presence in your daily life. When I am with you, your home can become a place of peace and refuge, a sanctuary where you can feel safe and loved. My presence can transform your living space, filling it with warmth and comfort, pushing out the cold shadows of worry and fear. Let me take away your worries. Hand over each one to me through prayer, trusting that I am more than capable of handling them. I can bring solutions to your problems, provide relief from anxiety, and grant you peace of mind. With each worry you release to me, you'll find your burdens lighter and your spirit freer to experience joy and gratitude. Protection and healing for your family are also within my power. Ask me to guard your loved ones, to keep them safe from harm, and to watch over them in every area of their lives. My protection is comprehensive, covering their physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I can shield your family from the dangers and difficulties of the world, wrapping you all in my loving care. Healing is a gift I am eager to give. Whether it's physical illness, emotional wounds, or spiritual brokenness, I am the great healer. My touch can restore health, mend broken hearts, and renew weakened spirits. Ask me to heal your family and trust in my timing and methods. Healing may come quickly or over time, but it will come. I am faithful to respond to your requests with compassion and power. Prayer is also a way to strengthen your relationship with me. Each time you speak to me, you draw closer, deepening your understanding of my character and my love for you. This connection is vital for your spiritual growth and emotional stability. It brings clarity and perspective, helping you to see your circumstances through the lens of my divine plan. Encourage your family to join in prayer too. Praying together strengthens your bonds with each other and with me. It unites you under a common purpose and shared hope. As a family, you can support each other, share your individual and collective worries, and witness firsthand the ways I move in your lives. Collective prayer amplifies faith and fosters a spirit of unity and love within the home. Remember that prayer is not just about asking for things, it's also about listening. Take time in your prayers to be still and know that I am God. Type Amen if you believe. Listen for my voice, pay attention to the feelings of peace that I send, and look out for the gentle nudges that guide your path. Being receptive to my responses can transform your prayer from a monologue to a dialogue, enriching your spiritual journey. Moreover, let gratitude be a part of your prayers. Thank me for the blessings you already have, for the answered prayers, for the unseen ways I work in your life. Gratitude opens your heart to receive more blessings and cultivates a positive, hopeful outlook. It shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant, from fear to faith. Finally, my dear child, know that my love for you and your family is everlasting. It is steadfast and unchanging. You are never alone in your sadness, nor are you ever out of reach of my care. So, talk to Jesus through prayer whenever you're sad. Ask me to come into your home to take away your worries and to protect and heal your family. I am always listening, always caring, and always ready to help. Trust in my love and my power, and let prayer be your comfort and your strength. 
God says, my dear child, I'll never leave you, with a profound assurance that resonates through the hearts of believers worldwide. In these words, there lies a promise, a covenant of eternal companionship, a bond unbroken by time or circumstance. It's a declaration of divine love, a love so pure and unconditional that it transcends human comprehension. When God speaks these words, He envelopes His children in a warm embrace of comfort and security. It's as if He is whispering directly into our souls, soothing our fears and easing our burdens. In a world full of uncertainties and trials, this assurance becomes our anchor, our steadfast rock in the midst of life's storms. My dear child, these words carry a tender affection, a paternal or maternal love that knows no bounds. It's a reminder of our intimate relationship with the Creator, who sees us not as mere mortals, but as cherished offspring. With these words, God affirms our worth and significance, assuring us that we are never alone in our journey through life. I'll never leave you, this promise echoes throughout scripture, a recurring theme that underscores God's faithfulness. From the Old Testament to the New, we see countless examples of God's unwavering presence in the lives of His people. Whether it's the Israelites wandering in the wilderness or the disciples facing persecution, God remains steadfast in His commitment to His children. This promise is not contingent upon our worthiness or righteousness, but is rooted in the character of God Himself. He is a God who keeps His word, whose love endures forever. Even when we falter and stumble, He remains faithful, never abandoning us to our own devices. In times of trouble and despair, it's easy to feel as though God has forsaken us. We may question His presence or doubt His love, but His promise remains unshakable. Like a lighthouse guiding ships through the darkness, God's presence illuminates our path, guiding us safely through life's tumultuous waters. When we feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, we can find solace in the knowledge that God is with us every step of the way. His presence brings peace in the midst of chaos, hope in the face of despair. Though the storms may rage around us, we can take refuge in the shelter of His wings. But God's promise goes beyond mere presence, it encompasses His providential care and protection. He is not a distant deity, aloof and indifferent to our struggles. Instead, He is intimately involved in every aspect of our lives, working all things together for our good. In times of sickness, He is our healer. In times of need, He is our provider. In times of sorrow, He is our comforter. Whatever our circumstances may be, God is always there, ready to extend His hand of grace and mercy. It's easy to lose sight of God's presence, especially when the world around us seems to be crumbling. We may be tempted to rely on our own strength or seek solace in temporary pleasures. But true peace and fulfillment can only be found in the steadfast love of God. When we feel lost and alone, we can turn to God's word for reassurance. The Bible is filled with promises of God's presence, each one a beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness. Through prayer and meditation, we can cultivate a deeper awareness of God's presence in our lives, allowing His peace to permeate our souls. But God's promise of never leaving us extends beyond this life into eternity. As believers, we have the blessed assurance of spending eternity in the presence of our Heavenly Father. Death is not the end, but merely a doorway into God's glorious presence, where we will dwell forever in perfect communion with Him. In the meantime, we can take comfort in knowing that God is with us here and now, guiding us through life's ups and downs. His promise is not just for the future but for the present moment, 
offering us strength and hope for each new day. So, let us hold fast to the promise of God's unending presence, trusting in His unfailing love to sustain us through every trial and tribulation. Subscribe our channel for daily God blessings. Though the mountains may tremble and the seas roar, we can rest secure in the knowledge that our God is with us, now and forevermore. Amen. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.